I'm gonna do a room tour. So this is my hotel room in Circus Circus with um, a bathroom. Hello. It's nice. It's clean. Make sure your door is locked. And this is my room. I have a king size bed. Okay. And there's an office desk where I will be doing my homework assignment for school. And I have a TV. And then this is the view of my hotel. Nothing fancy, but for the price that I paid, it's really nice. I love it. Hey guys, welcome to our channel. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada, by myself. By myself. And I'm staying here in um, Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. I'm using um, Vegas as a hub to go sightseeing and go on hikes. Like, I'm going on tours um, outside of the city. Like, tomorrow, I'm going to the Grand Canyon. Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend in Arizona that would be like I think 17 hours tour and then the next day is Saturday um, I'm going I'm very excited and some favorite we've never been but I heard a lot of good things about it which is Zion National Park um, and also after that we're heading over to Bryce Canyon so it's gonna be a very um, you know, I'll be here for five days, so it's gonna be a busy and fun filled day. This is my first solo travel ever, and I was a little scared, but when I when I got here, everybody's so nice, my hotel room is nice, and I feel safe, and so far, I love it. I heard a lot of benefits being a solo traveler, like, there's no restriction like you're not waiting on anybody you can make your own plans you can do whatever you being a solo traveler you get to meet people new people that share um, same interest and then just getting out of um, my comfort zone that's um, the most important part but I'm not gonna be doing this a lot of course I would love to travel with my husband and my kids someday I would love to bring them here but for right now come with me and I'll take you along with me and let's explore Las Vegas together see you guys later Yeah, it's a beach, you know, but it's nothing like here. No. Like this is like a party, um, a party city. City, yeah. and then tomorrow I actually is gonna go to the Grand Canyon. Oh, are you? You doing an excursion? Yeah, I'm doing the. Um, Did you get a tour, um, like thing? Or? I'm doing the tour and the. Um, I'm going to Arizona, the Antelope Canyon. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then the next day I'm going to Utah. Oh, I'm doing the tour oh, to. So you're going all over. You're Zion. Not even just staying right here in Las yeah. Vegas. Yeah. It's like I'm using it that, like a hub to go hike to right. see these beautiful places because we don't have that in um, Virginia. <laughs> right, I mean, there's right. beautiful mountains. The Shenandoah Valley and stuff, but it's nothing really. Yeah, for you know. like where you're gonna like go sightseeing. Really. Yeah. Like, 
they're it's like the mountains that surround us where most of it is nice to see as we're driving by solid hour plus drive really yeah do you think i can because that's way north i can take an uber to the red rock oh yeah okay good to know thank you yeah no problem yeah it's uh it, it is it's really nice um and like i said there's there's 13 different um different uh hiking trails and you can you know you go to as many as you want or try whatever you want um yeah this is the only day like yeah. the really like i get to like just enjoy the city Right. Like I'm gonna go see the um, the O. The, oh, the by show, yeah. 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 Have you seen it? No, I haven't. My uh, father, when he was in town, he went and saw it. Um, I've <laughs> seen like Mystere and uh, some of the other shows. That's what but I want to see on Sunday, the Mystere. Oh, uh, at Treasure Island. Yeah, I really like that one. That was really good. It, that's really good. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. The only thing I guess I'd recommend going to Red Rock if you're gonna take Uber or Lyft is um maybe maybe look and see what um what trail you want to want to potentially hike um we have something here you might remember from the philippines because i i know some people from the philippines and they knew it right away
Formations. That's what we see in the, in the canyon wall here. With time, moisture, pressure, heat, and erosion, it turns sand dune into sandstone. There's a lot of iron in the sandstone, that's why it has that red color. Alright, guys, we'll hit three. there, then we'll come back down, go to the north side. The north side can be a little bit longer than this, it can be darker than this side too. Thank you. The south side is a V-shaped canyon. The north side is an A-shaped canyon. So follow me guys, come on in here. And where are you guys from? New Hampshire. New Hampshire, how about you guys? Virginia Beach. Virginia Beach is where my niece lives. <laughs> all of you, where? New Jersey. New Jersey, how about you guys? Germany. 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 How about you from LA? Yeah. Me, I'm from LA. Yeah. Lower <laughs> end <insulin. laughs> Four corners. We are in the area, the four corners here. So, this is Utah. Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico. This circle here is called the, the Colorado Plateau. In other words, everything in that circle is sandstone, okay? Salt Lake City is up here, Phoenix, Denver, and Albuquerque. This here is also the Navajo Nation. We cover the Four Corners area, the Navajo Reservation. So we deal with four different states. Okay, now, what happened here a long time ago? Every time the wind blew from different direction, laid down layers of sand. Remember, this is in millions of years. <coughs> over and over. At one time, there was a body of ocean water above us. Maybe in the biblical times of Noah's Ark or during the Ice Age. Okay, there's our sand dune. Remember, this is the Four Corners area. Here's our ocean water. If you look at the water, you can see how it seeps into the sand. Underneath, compression is taking place. It's being squeezed together. All this is being squeezed together. The dolomite, the silica, is cementing the sands together. This top layer here is during the Jurassic era. You've been to a uh, <coughs> petrified forest? Anybody? If you go there, you're gonna find these huge logs that turn into stones. So these were like swamps, lagoons, and marsh, mud flats, volcanoes, and dinosaurs. Here's my little dinosaur. You guys see him? <laughs> okay, he left his footprint here. And for some reason, the little dinosaur kicked the bucket and died and left his bones there. Now, the heat from the sun would bake this and make it hard. You ladies ever bake cookies? <laughs> you make the dough, put on a sheet pan, you put it in the oven, heat it up, comes out nice and hard. 
And the same thing here. So these were all baked, hardened from the sun, the heat of the sun. Now the, the last layers, known as the Cretaceous formation, consisted of four different layers. The uh, Moenkopi, Dakota, Chinle, and the Kienta formations. Then they left this whole place like nothing ever happened here. So we're doing time, moisture, pressure, heat and erosion. The last thing, erosion is going on now. We got water erosion, wind erosion, man erosion, plants, animal erosion, all kinds of erosion going on. When all this started eroding away, it started to uncover what had compressed underneath what had hardened underneath, known as sandstone. Very cool. See how the dolomite, the silica is holding this together? It's not falling apart. Now, if you look at it from the side view, you're gonna be able to see the different, the different uh, layers yeah. that you guys see everywhere. Yeah and the different formations, different designs. Remember how I changed the wind direction? Mm -hmm. That's what caused it. I'm gonna pick this up, flip it sideways so you guys have a better view. Do you think it's gonna fall apart? No. Let's see, let's find out. <laughs> My magic toucher. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. That's pretty cool. You guys see the different designs in there? Crazy. And you guys see the different layers that you see yeah. everywhere? Yeah. There's our dinosaur footprint. <laughs> <laughs> There's our fossil. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to show you how the slot canyons were formed. Because of the hot and cold weather, what does heat do? <laughs> Expands, okay? <laughs> How about coal? Contract. Freeze. <laughs> Contracts. So when that happens, it forms stress and tensions in the sandstone to where they will shift and split and crack. Like this right here. And every time it rains, water will go in here. The tiny driplets of water will start to carve the sandstone. So, there's our little crack there. You guys see that? Yeah. And here's our flash flood water. Slowly, over and over for millions of years, it'll start to carve. So when you guys were inside the canyon, you probably noticed the smooth walls. Yeah. Everything at the bottom is carved by water. Everything at the top, carved by wind. Mm. Okay, you guys can come up here and look in here. You might even see yourself in there, posing. <laughs> <laughs> A little mini me. <laughs> That is, that's the best demonstration I've ever seen. Yeah. Is it hard? Now I'm going to pick bit. this up and I'm going to open it up and uh, show you guys the smooth walls, okay? You guys see the smooth wall? Yeah. And how this is holding together. Now, let's say you went home. Back to Germany. You guys have beach? No, yeah, a little bit. A little bit? Okay. You went home and you gathered your friends like this and you took them to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and you tell them, hey, I learned something at Canyon X. This smart tour guide showed us this. <laughs> and you tried this. Guess what? Oh, you're going to embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they will wonder what you're talking about. 
There's no dolomite in beet sand. There's no silica. That is coarse sand that's been washed back and forth with the wave, has no stability. This is fine sand with dolomite and silica. So when it's wet, it will cement together because of the natural adhesive in the silica will hold together. That's why we have sandstone here. That light beam down right You guys now? get that? Yeah. Amazing. All right. <laughs> Good? Very good. Now I'm going to take your photos. Uh, everybody move this way. Germany, you stay right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see your I've been to Petra. Yes. Yeah. Sure, that is sandstone too? Yeah. yeah. But those are carvings over there, monuments and yeah, yeah. 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 So you know now what's heaven means, you know, that's heaven there. You know, that's the houses. And you can see there's no windows as well. At all. So that's how it was back in time exactly, you know, that's how Native Americans. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Massive. <laughs> I know. Tree. I got two. Hello. Do you want any? Hi. 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 Yeah. Oh my goodness. What's his A name? A shade. <laughs> What's her name? Gigi. 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 Oh, Gigi. I got two. Oh, you do? Yes. <laughs> oh, how old? Um, six. She's six. Yeah. Happy, 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 please. Wait, hurry, come, hold on, hold on. We got two more. Oh, we got two more? Yes, sir. Come, come. 